Vacation's almost done. One last card game. That's right. I forgot how much I enjoyed playing cards with you. Yeah. We used to do that a lot when we were first married. We did do that a lot when we were first married. It was always fun when I won. <laughs> I, and I, I think I got a good hand. Are you sure you shuffled this? Oh, I, I, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and play, okay? You're sure? I'm you sure. shuffled. Let's okay. go. All right, go for it. Is there something I should be scared about? You think you're going to win. Okay, good. <laughs> Red. You sure you want red? Yes, red. All right. I have a red. Draw two. Can we start over? No. You said we were going to play the game. Oh, good card. Good card. Remember our first rule. I'm good. Okay. All right. Then I've got a reverse. What? A red reverse. So it's oh. my turn again. And then I have a blue reverse. So we're going to reverse this even more. And then I have. A blue skip. Oh, I guess that means it's my turn again. Hmm. I have a draw four. I mean, look at Bowser. He's Ooh, never Ooh, that's a good card. Fun. I got a chance. Ooh, another good card. And I would like yellow. You would like yellow. Okay. All right. My turn again. Reverse Uno. One card left. And reverse for the win. You did say that you shuffled that deck. Our number one rule, always let Pastor Craig win. Oh, no, no, no. You know that's not our rule. No, that's not our rule. Our first rule. It saved our marriage. There's, <laughs> There's no, no loving, loving cards. cards. Oh, come on, Pastor Craig. It was just a card game. Just a card game? Yes, just a card game. Everybody has to lose and win. Oh, that's, Someone oh, does. That's easy to say when you're the one who won and I'm the one who lost. You know I hate to lose in card games. Well, I understand that. I hate to lose too. Well, well that's easy to say now that you've won. <laughs> this is getting us nowhere. I know it's getting us nowhere. Maybe I lost. We need to be reminded of the scripture th for this week. When Jesus says how important it is, he says, I'll tell you the truth. He says that if two of you on earth can agree about anything you ask for, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. So it's important for us to figure this out because we need to be unified for our people, for our kids, for, for God. Well, yes, we need to be unified, Truth be told, we probably are, because we made a rule a long time ago. That there's no love in cards. Well, I know there's no love in cards, but that does make it hard when we do care for one another. Well, and love one another. And love one another. There may not be any love in cards, right? And we can agree on that. But what we can also agree upon is that despite our disagreement when it comes to a game of cards, there's love in relationships. Right, so it shouldn't affect our relationship when we lose. No, it shouldn't. Congratulations, Pastor Wendy, I'm winning. <laughs> well, thank you, I appreciate that. And I still love you. Well, well I definitely appreciate that, I love you too. Okay. <laughs> so. Join us this Sunday as we work in our relationships, but we're reminded of God's love for us and that love and how it impacts the love that we have for, for us all. And that takes work and it takes time and conversation and, and Jesus understands that. But when we do come together, amazing things with God will always happen. That's true. Amazing things with God will always happen when we come together in love. We'll see you on Sunday. See you then.